Hello fellow sim racers. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Porsche 964 Carrera Cup car that's coming to Race Room Racing Experience in the very near future. The team at Sector 3 Studios were kind enough to send me an advanced copy of the car to have a play with over the last week and I've been having a great time finding out why this particular Porsche 911 is rather good. Porsche introduced the Carrera Cup as a national series in Germany in the late 80s, and since then it spawned numerous regional offshoots across Europe, Asia and South America, as well as the International Super Cup. Thanks to the series' popularity and ease of access, the various national Carrera Cup series have acted as important rungs on the career ladder for a significant portion of today's GT fields. In fact, it's probably easier to list Le Mans winners of the past decade or two that didn't cut their teeth in one of the Porsche Cup series. For me, the 964 is the most interesting of all the cars Porsche have used in their Cup series. It was the first 911 model to be used, replacing the front engine 944 in 1991. But the main reason this car is particularly interesting is that it was constructed at a point of tremendous technological progress in the car world. And that means this car is an exemplary juxtaposition of old and new. The car has ABS, which at the time was relatively uncommon in race cars but it also has the classic Porsche air-cooled flat-six engine hanging off the back that can trace its roots back to the early 60s. So the 964 is an interesting specimen, and evidently its representation in race room is pretty easy on the eyes, but none of that matters to us unless the car produces great racing. And let me tell you, just like the real thing, this car lends itself perfectly to close, door-handle banging racing. So then, what's it like to drive? In short, it's a classic 911, and it exhibits all of the traits that you've come to know and possibly love about the platform. The 3.6-litre naturally aspirated flat six provides a modest 264 brake horsepower, delivered through a five-speed manual gearbox and a limited slip differential. That's enough power to keep things interesting, but the cars are slow enough to ensure good close racing. Driving any car on the limit is an exercise in weight transfer management. But when it comes to 911s, it's even more critical, thanks to Porsche's insistence upon installing the engine at the wrong end of the car. So with a 964 you can expect to trigger all of the usual 911 handling quirks, like brutal lift off oversteer, and a general reluctance to brake unless you do so in a very straight line. But drive it with these things in mind, and it's an absolute joy. Thanks to the ABS, this thing stops quickly, and the initial turn in is very responsive. Careful use of the brakes to get some weight on the front axle is doable, but remember there's 250 kilos of engine at the back wanting to come round on you if you rob the rear of too much grip. The thing you have to remember is this is still pretty close to the road car. Porsche took these straight off the production line, ripped out the carpets, radio and soundproofing, welded in a roll cage and installed a handful of tuned up race spec parts. These cars and the series they ran in were successful because they kept the formula nice and simple. And that's what really works about this car in sim racing form as well. In short, the Race Room 964 Cup car is a fun and rewarding drive. Importantly, the car comes with a very drivable stock setup, and in my opinion, it's ready to go right out of the box. That being said, there is a little scope to change the setup options and to try and alter the characteristics of the car for those that want to go down that route. But bear in mind that this is a Cup car, so many of the setup options are limited by the rules. Of particular note are the fixed gear ratios, which are fairly evenly spaced. This is great on the way up through the box, but you need to pay particular attention when downshifting, as it's quite easy to lock the rear axle by changing down too early. This is the sort of car that really lends itself to racing sims. It's interesting enough to drive to keep the attention of experienced racers, and approachable enough for relative newcomers. For me, this is the MX-5 Cup car in a Porsche flavour. And with that in mind, I can see this car making a hefty impact on the club and league racing scene. This is going to be popular. 
Thankfully, the car has 25 skins available to choose from, representing a good mix of beautiful iconic liveries, as well as some of those that are perhaps less uh, memorable. These admirably capture the colourful and diverse natures of the Porsche Cup and Super Cup at the time, and, importantly, provide for decent sized lobbies without the need for repetition, which is something that Sector 3 always does a good job with. Something else that Sector 3 always gets right is the sound, and the 964 Cup car is no different. It sounds reassuringly Porsche-like, as you would expect, and stacks up very well against the period onboard footage I could find. It would be easy to look at this release and dismiss it as just another 911. And to be fair, since Porsche released their iron grip on video game licenses a few years ago, we've seen a fair few of them. But for me, this car is more than just another 911. The car was campaigned at the time by some big, or soon to be big names, Alex Zanardi, Ronaldo Capello, Heinz Harald Frentzen, Olaf Manti, and Bernd Mylander, a man who's led more Grand Prix laps than Hunt, Jones, Fittipaldi, or either of the Villeneuves. But beyond the car's historical significance, this is a really well executed car that's engaging to drive and is almost guaranteed to produce fantastic racing. And really, that's why we're all here. I'm especially happy to see these cars come to race room because it's a sim that really excels with this type of car, and crucially for me, it has by far the best selection of appropriate tracks for club racing. If you're interested in picking up the new 964 Carrera Cup car, it will be available from the race room store very soon. I don't have an exact release date, but I'll update the top comment when I do. As a final note, here's a quick reminder that there are still a few places left on our Assetto Corsa community race event on the 19th. If you want to take part, you can sign up through the Discord. As always, there's a link in the description. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Join me again tomorrow where I'll be previewing the recently announced Group C content for Race Room. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then it would be great if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. So all that's left to say is goodbye, thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.